The air inside the old train station was thick and still. It felt like a tomb for a forgotten train route. Cobwebs hung from the rusty ticket booths, like creepy decorations for a party. Caleb lived there all alone. He laughed in a dry, raspy way that echoed strangely in the dusty emptiness. They say it's just the wind, he said in a rough voice, like dry leaves rustling in a graveyard. But his eyes were cloudy and bloodshot, like faded velvet. They held a wild look that didn't match his words. Years ago, Caleb wasn't just someone who saw something bad happen. He was a young train conductor, barely an adult. One terrible night, a train called the Midnight Express disappeared. It was his train. It roared into the dark opening of the Blackwood Tunnel and was never seen again. No one survived. The town went quiet after that, like a cloth being placed over something sad. The only sound was a sad cry, like a lost teddy bear's wail. The teddy bear belonged to a little girl named Violet. Caleb had promised her worried mother that Violet would be safe. The bear was a faded blue one named Mr. Buttons. One of its eyes dangled by a thread. Caleb could never forget it. It was a constant reminder of the innocent life lost in the wrecked train. He remembered more than the crash, the desperate rush to get to the wreckage before it was sealed shut, the heartbroken sobs of a mother looking for her child. These were the things that scared Caleb more than any ghost train. He tried to get inside the wreckage, hoping to find Violet, but the smoke and twisted metal forced him back. He never knew what happened to her. Every night, at exactly midnight, Caleb said he felt the ground shake. It was a deep tremor, like a warning of something bad to come. Then came the sound. Not a sad cry, but a horrible screech. It sounded like tortured metal and screams from ghosts. It made him crazy with fear every morning. Was the shaking real? Or was it just his guilt making him imagine it? Caleb didn't know. One especially awful night, the usual things happened. The shaking, the horrible screech, and a coldness that seeped into the station. Right on time. But this time, something was different. A faint, pulsing light came from the tunnel opening, like a bad heartbeat growing stronger in the dark. Caleb squinted, his heart pounding in his chest. The light got brighter, and he saw wisps of smoke take shape. They formed a ghostly train, with a headlight that glowed angrily in the darkness. It screeched to a stop, the sound like a scream echoing through the station. Ghostly passengers looked out from the windows, their faces twisted in pain forever. Some looked like worried mothers, others like children with empty eyes. Were they figments of his guilt, or echoes of the people lost on the Midnight Express? Their pain mirrored the never-ending pain in Caleb's heart. Caleb was frozen in terror as a ghostly hand grabbed his shoulder. He spun around, but there was nothing there. The train lurched forward, its mournful whistle echoing in his mind, long after it disappeared back into the darkness. Caleb was alone in the cold, echoing station. A single tear ran down his dirty cheek. Did he feel relieved, or did he wish the train would come back and take him with it on its endless journey? Maybe only Violet if she was on the train, could give him comfort. He didn't know. The answer was lost in the darkness, just like his sanity. The teddy bear, Mr. Buttons, was clutched tightly in his trembling hand. It seemed to make fun of him, a silent reminder of the life he couldn't save. Could it also be the key to peace, a way to finally feel good again? Maybe by reuniting Violet, with her lost toy in the afterlife. Caleb didn't know. The answer was lost in the vast emptiness, mirroring the hollow space where his sanity used to be.